Hello everybody and welcome to the fifth day of Vlogmas! For those of you who know me, welcome back. And for those of you who don't, I'm Pia and I'm your host for all things Lux. As you will have seen from the title of this video, this is an Hermes bag unboxing video. My favorite unboxing videos. This is a bag that there was only one of in France. My wonderful SA was able to secure it for me, have it transferred to our local Hermes. I also played around with other bags and I got to try the new Kelly Elan or Elan get shoulder handbag done in a Kelly style. I would love to get my hands on, particularly for next year, because it's going to be one of my cousin's weddings. And I think it could be the perfect sort of clutch bag for the nighttime event, but then you put on the strap and then you can style it into a day bag. So very hopefully we'll have one of those to unbox at some point. I also tried a beautiful exotic leather Constance handbag on the mini size, which is so lovely. It was a matte type of leather. I think when I get an exotic, I'm actually going to go for something really, really shiny. The particularity about the shiny exotic leathers when it comes to Hermes is that they don't have a coating. The way they reach that level of shininess is actually by polishing the leather with some agate stones. How wonderful is that? The one I tried at the store was in matte, so not really the vibe I would go for perhaps one day, but I'm more of a shiny type of exotic. Anyway, I'm diverting. Let's get into the unboxing. I've got the bag here. I wonder if I've already written this on the title and then it's not an expectations moment. This one in here is a Garden Party 36 in the leather textile combination. Garden Party bag is a handbag that Hermes introduced back in 1964. I think it's got a very sporty chic vibe that's perfect for marrying the city and countryside lifestyles. It's a very sober style and in my opinion, absolutely timeless, very minimal in its design design and yet it stays true to the brand's DNA with a couple of equestrian details in there. The model is proposed in two versions. You've got one in which it's plain leather and then there's this other version which will be a combination of textile and leather details. In this occasion the textile is called a toile militaire sport which is quite a resistant fabric perfect for the type of use that I actually got it for and the leather is called Vonegonda actually comes from the male cow it's got a slightly large grain. It's really soft and smooth to the touch and it's a characteristically matte type of leather. The bottom part of the bag is all made in leather which makes it perfect for sitting down and then the handles are made of leather as well as these little details that go on the paneling following the structure of the handle. It's a pretty sturdy handbag that's still supple at the same time. So it's going to keep its shape and it's perfect for carrying quite a bit of heavy stuff. Regarding the size of the bag, I would say it's got a size that varies because you can close it and open it in different types of ways. This one's the model number 36, which refers to the 36 centimeters that you get down here. And the garden party, you can find it in sizes 28, 30, 36 and the Purple Travel Companion 49. For the 36 model, the size specifications are going to be 36 centimeters times 27 centimeters height times 18 centimeters in depth. It's got quite a deep handle drop of 19 centimeters, making it a perfect companion for those thick autumn winter coats and sweaters. You can actually change its size or shape by simply popping out these little buttons that it has on the side. It becomes a more classic tote bag. I personally really like the shape of it when it's popped 
in like that. But I guess on trouble days, maybe on top of a plane, if I want a blanket inside, stuff like that, the extra room that you can gain with this little popper buttons on the side can be really handy. And now talking about the popper buttons brings me up to our next point, the hardware on the bag. Hardware is really minimal with a palladium hardware little popper button in there and then the two on the side that I just showed you. Unfortunately for me they only make it in silver but because it is so minimal and discreet I did decide to make a little exception. I mainly always get yellow gold pieces that will match my yellow gold jewelry but I really wanted to get my hands on a handbag that would serve as a travel slash work meeting companion and I'll probably be decorating it with some yellow gold charms in there. When it comes to the styling and uses of the bag I actually plan to wear this on days when I have to take trains or planes and I want to carry my laptop, a little blanket or thick sweater, chargers, my camera, the microphone and perhaps when I'm arriving to destination I need to go straight to a meeting and I want something a little bit more put together than an actual travel bag. This one is my first ever garden party and so I don't really have a pros and cons ready for you just yet. So I will be getting back to you in a couple of months after having worn her out for some upcoming trips I have and like I was saying styling it on those travel workwear trips and I'll be letting you know how much stuff I can fit on it, how I get along with it and just an overall review. Something a little little bit further down in presentation than the little talking that we're doing today. All right, you guys, that was it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions regarding the handbag, don't hesitate to leave them down below. And if you're not done watching, I'll leave you a couple more videos linked in here so you can pinch a little bit more. See you on the next one. Bye!